All right, welcome back from a long, long hiatus. Uh, it's Ann and Kelly here with this quiet time. You might hear uh, C Rad chime in a couple of times here. So uh, he's here with us. So we yeah. did about something different. Um, since the last time we posted anything, it's like all of a sudden AI exploded, right? Uh, it, it just suddenly oh, became, yes. you know, they're talking about it at work, they're talking about it in the context of academics for, you know, elementary all the way through college level. And it just suddenly became this thing, but now we have access to some really fun things on the internet. Yes. So, uh, we sat down and we each went through, we, um, we both used uh, Night Cafe for this one and yeah. you go in it produces images it generates pictures and so we, we we would give it parameters we give it words and then pick the styles and then we we made the pictures and we'll post the pictures uh in the comments stuff like that yeah uh, we wanted to talk about kind of what it created and where it came from and you know what we think is going on with these Right. Um, right. They're definitely different. They're very, very different. And I think the style has a strong influence on it. Right. Yeah. It definitely does. And yeah, what you pick and what you start with and how you choose your wording is mm -hmm. very, very important. Yeah, but what an AI thinks a cryptid is <laughs> kind of interesting. Well, right. Well, you know what? I actually didn't use the word cryptid. Yeah, I used yeah. monster in some of mine. Um, I actually have four. I shared two earlier, but I'm going to share two more with you. Oh, okay. But I did with the I because what I did. Facebook is trying. I used different. Uh, so first, I started. We didn't actually say anything about what the preacher looked like. And actually, it looks like it cut off most of my first one. So, uh, the last one I just sent you was the very first try. Okay. All it, all it managed to get was a lake lived a creature. Okay, yeah. And I, there's a picture of a lake. And there's some and there's like a weird thing pine standing there. Um, I tell you, it's very southern Arkansas with pine trees in the swamp. Well, okay, that's actually, that's a different one. I, that one, I got the whole first part of my prompt in there. I got deep in the pine forest by a lake lived a creature. Uh huh. And that gave me the, the pine swamp. But I don't see the creature. I know. It didn't give me a creature. So I had a couple like that. I just didn't know if it was like really small in there. Or... I think I see the creature in one of them. You see the creature in uh, one of well, them? Well, you should in the later one that mm -hmm. okay the, in the lower left hand corner there is a little alligator it could be a rock or a log or it could be the okay rock. you think you see you think you might see him in there it might be their creature or maybe the discoloring in the tree on the left has something to do with it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Very chunk, it, it's either shadowed or scratched or burned or something yeah it didn't give me a whole lot and there's another one where you see a, a sort of a tower looking thing and it that's because uh -huh. somehow it chopped off the deep in the pine forest and all we got was a lake lived a creature and it just gave wow. me a weird tower gotcha now what was your what was your um, this was the game 3d game Sorry. the one with the swamp was also 3d game okay so that one all right so that's now the first the um, yeah, the very first one I did where it chopped off most of my text props was just detailed map painting. Okay, and that... Okay, now that's that one again. That is the one with the tower. Oh, the tower. Oh, okay. But it, it lost most of what I said, so but I don't see a creature, and that's almost the only part it has. Yeah. I see that, yep. Style was so nice. how it precinct. Yeah, it's oh. it's weird then what it show well, Nightcap, yeah, that was just sort of their their general thing. Um 
So yeah. how it's interpreting what you're saying is pretty weird. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's obviously a creature. Wait, oh. I don't know. What is that? I don't know. There is something in kind of the foreground. There is a little piece of thing. I wonder if I can blow this up, people. See, that was me. Looks like like camping gear or something. Uh, okay. But I don't know what. I, I can't figure out what it's interpreting to get that. Yeah, I don't know either. Ah, uh, she got yeah, a little. Thing. Oh, maybe it's nature. I don't know. It's not very distinct. So that's interesting. There's kind of a fail there on it. But some of these, maybe we should move on to some of these that do come up with something, which is very interesting. Yes. Well, I changed my prompt at that point. So the one, the not golden one, um, oh, I changed the prompt to have a little more detail. So it's deep in the pine forest by the lake live the creature. Arms made of twigs, stones for teeth that swims in the cool waters at night. Okay, and that's where the golden ottery thing came up? Well, the first one I did on the 3D game, and that's the thing that looks like some kind of horrible fish. Oh, that one I haven't found yet. Okay, I haven't... Okay, hold on. Let me bring that one up. I think he looks like a fish. Let me let me re-share him. He didn't... Maybe I clicked the wrong link. Nope, that's the okay, golden well, one. This is the first one, the 3D gaming one. I just sent it back. Yeah. And so that was the first attempt, and I chose oh, a that three. Terrifying. It is. He's much scarier. I did get dark. Though. It looks like it's... Hmm? It looks like a fleshy and wooden alligator with an elephant trunk. I definitely got the twig part of it. Um, but that one big eye and this almost crab-like leg? Yeah. Very weird. Um, but, you know, he's in the water. It's not night. It looks like it's the day, but... Yeah. He got much closer. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can see twigs in the limb, sort of. Yeah, well, there's some twigginess going down towards the right-hand corner. Right. Then there's also its leg has some... Yeah. You know, weird stuff. But what? Then I tried it with a different filter, essentially. Exact same prompt. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get the yeah. golden otter. Yes, that's where we get the weird ottery thing. And I think he would make a great trip to him. Yeah. I mean, he's a little nursery rhyme more than cryptid. Like golden goose, the golden otter. <laughs> but he definitely looks like he might be a little scarier. Definitely copperhead. <laughs> Well, there is that. Yeah, I mean, that's he looks very he's very he is more kind of fairy tale nursery rhymey than I expected. He reminds me of like, yeah, he reminds me of like maybe you could see it like you would with a genie by like activating a certain thing. Oh. Because you see it like kind of blur, so maybe it's like moving forward and just now appearing. Possibly, possibly. So, but, you know, that's four things basically with at least parts of the same prompt. And we yeah. got very, four very different things. Very, very. So, but what I think is really kind of interesting about these, and we'll look at some of the ones that I pulled too in just a minute, that. AIs are, are basing all of this on basically what they can troll from the internet, right? They just mm -hmm. cast the net and look for things and try to pull together images from it. So that's going to be, of course, very American and Western European. But I say that fish, I have no idea uh, what the, the he's doing. Uh, 3D game one? Yeah. I don't know where it got that. I mean, like an, an otter, a, a, you know, a cryptid-type otter creature. That makes sense. That would be very North American. That's, yeah, cool. I can see where that comes from. That one, that fishy thing is soft. I think it just yeah. mishmashed a ton of things together. I think so. Like tons of different animals, like a fleshy look maybe from some horror series, twigs. 
Maybe but somehow it's decided that was a cyclops. Games that I don't know. You know? Mm hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's been things. So, like, uh, certain games that I don't. Yeah. But I don't even mention eyes. Yeah. And yet it decided to make it a cyclops. Right. Well, then. How did you do something? And then one with the otter. I can see where stones, perhaps under the water in the front. Mm -hmm. But I don't see twigs. I see greenery. Yeah, there's some greenery in the water, but it doesn't seem to be connected necessarily. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know how it decided what to get, what to what to accept, and what to reject. Part of the prompt. Right. Right. I don't know either. Oh, I forgot that you put water in there, and it's probably in a river. I always saw it as like snow. Like you, oh, you thought it was like snow. I could see that. Oh, he seems to be in the water. But you can see he's got like long flowing hair, so he's not a snake. No, he's not. He's not a reptile of any kind. Oh, I lost. There we go. There's I'm sure. Yes, I'm not sure. So, do you guys have some that you've done? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I sent them to you over email. Um, let me try to send them, I guess, now. I will start with Hidden Monster in the Mountains. Okay. And I will... Let me send that to you guys quickly. Uh-oh. Stop letting me get back over here. Start with me. Oh, there we go. So, this came out very Lord of the Rings. Mentor. Yeah, or Dementor. Oh, yeah, maybe some Harry Potter. The ring Ring with our Dementor. Right, I was thinking Ozark Mountain. Uh, right. But I didn't right. know what I was thinking. Uh, that was that was my fault. Expecting the AI to know more about what I've meant. Um, the right. uh, very rocky landscape and yeah, this floating robe figure with a giant hand. But it's not very hidden. Right. He seems to be kind of out in the open there. But right. But I was hoping for hidden, meaning cryptid or cryptic in some way. Right. But he's definitely. So I'm not quite sure where he comes from. Um, let's see. And then I did... I did the exact same prompt again with a different filter. Uh, this one... Bonkers. Oh, uh, this one is... Oh, uh, there you go. This is like doing jumping jacks. It's like... And... It is definitely jazz hands. What the heck? Well, it's like also, right not hiding. I don't know. He's definitely not hiding. No, he's the opposite of hiding. He is jazz hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do I understand. We're we're looking at the cyclops again. I mean, there seems to be one glowing eye. Yeah. The Ooh, okay. I've got another one here. Oh, okay. No, we'll come back to it later. You go ahead. We'll okay. Yours. I'm, I'm going to send the two forests. I changed the environment from um, mountain to forest. Okay. So, and it came up with these. The really Hansel and Gretel feel to this one. These came out very fairy tale. Very and fairy then The first one that I sent you... I don't know where the actual monster is, unless it's this entire background here. Like you're just seeing like right. an abdomen for a bug type thing and legs in the mist or something. Well, it it looks up on hidden on that one. Yes. Yeah. I only. I think. What do you see? Yeah, I more see like that really bright part. Yeah, that seems to be the focus. Eyes. <laughs> oh, is that its eyes? Uh -huh. I think of oh, a big, scary there. leg. Maybe. And like an enormous uh, praying mantis or something. Is what yeah, maybe. 
definitely fun hidden that time. Right. Well, if it was bug, if if it's going for bugs, that that does creep a lot of people out. So that might make for a good cryptid. Yeah, yeah. The second forest one that I sent, it's like wrapped around a tree. That one is truly terrifying. Yes, that, that one is. The description of any cryptid that I know of, I don't know where it came up. Spiders. It is very spidery, but or very spidery. Tuft on it, or I don't know. It's something that clings to trees in the mist. Mm-hmm. Or it of, is the tree, or it's part of the tree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of scary. But that one, I, when I saw it, I was kind of confused. I was, that does not really fit any did I can think of that I know of. Right. We should ask Jim about any yokai. Yeah, like, yeah, we should. We should. We should. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't look like two big tufts of ears of some kind, doesn't it? That's what it looks like. Long limbs wrapped around the tree. So that was kind of bonkers. I thought that was weird. Um, yeah. Now, I tried a couple of river ones myself. River and mud. I tried both of those. Because I wanted it to get more on the river bank, maybe. But... Ah, maybe. It didn't come out great. I did these about a month ago, so... There's the first one that was river. And while it is daunting and picturesque, the hidden part was taken too seriously. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, very, very Lord of the Rings that, you know, the, who did the artwork on, the most famous artwork for Lord of the Rings? Um, oh my goodness. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, my. There's that, you know, fairly well-known set of drawings in the book. Have my title. Oh. Oh, I know what you're talking about, but I have no idea what the name is. Yeah. I can't remember who it was. Um, I am not having any luck. Um, okay. That, that's the feel I get from that one. Right, and there's a little like, po- not Waylon. No. Oh, Johnny Crazy. Take a moment, Google it. You know, no, no, no. We're going to keep moving. Okay. So, but there's a little bitty boat in the foreground, and I don't really see the river in that I, one. I don't see where that would be daunting or uneasy feeling if you were in it. I I don't see anything that looks looks like it might be a monster over there, though. Maybe it's just supposed to give you a feeling of being watched. Maybe oh, it's like in one of those crevices or something. Right, or one of those bright spots or something. Yeah, I just don't know. So definitely hard to hard to figure out. So well, and then it got the river, got that part right. Right, it got a river, but a little too hidden. And then the next one, it kind of it just seemed to be very much play on the same thing, because it, it's a small vessel of some kind, watercraft in the right. foreground but it's doing that thing like it's done in so many of them where the rest of the background is just taken over by some bright shiny void it looks like mm. a spider web it does make it look spider webby with all those roots coming down and stuff mm-hmm. yeah. in the front definitely seeing something weird yeah. in the front like you know, just directly where that person is looking. Oh, okay. Like right, like okay. right beneath the bright stuff. The right here. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm interpreting whatever in the front is as some kind of watercraft, like a raft or something. But the person is very distorted. Hmm. I think you can kind of make out a head right there. Uh huh. And then maybe like a paddle. Yeah. And then its arm. And it actually looks like a bowl of food right there. Yeah, maybe. 
So they're traveling with their supper on their raft. Yep. Into the bright lights in a river. Sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Never do that. I don't know. The only thing that confuses me is that their paddle looks, like, bent. It does. It, does. it looks more like a branch than a... Yeah, I think it's a branch. Mm-hmm. Maybe, like, at one of the ends, you can kind of make out a motor, and maybe that broke, so they had to use a branch. Oh. Um, on the left side there, there is something yeah. that looks somewhat mechanical, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see if we can make this. Mm-hmm. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh, this makes it bigger? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Well, yeah, we have credit. Scale for two credits. We can get better life. Hey, Tolkien? Nope. Maybe huh. Tolkien did the art. Tolkien did the art himself, perhaps. Oh, maybe. I found something. Artist and illustrator, and it's kind of what I was doing. Well, I didn't do just a whole lot. Well, it made it less blurry. Okay. Um. But. Definitely. You can kind of make out a salad or something in that room. <laughs> There's something. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, which one are you looking for? Person like. I think the monster's on the right. Yeah, for me, it kind of does. Like, everything looks normal until you realize that it looks like they're one of their hands. I think for them, their left hand is like coming out of their head. Yeah. On their back or something. It's weird. Or maybe that's just something like, that's that is part of the boat. It might be I part of the boat here. People, when the AIs create images of people, mm-hmm. they have too many teeth and too many fingers and arms at weird angles. Right. So I'm thinking that maybe that's what's happened. The AI accidentally distorted. Yeah, I think that the cryptid is something that's like behind or making all of the like whitish roots oh okay it's what's in the bright spot Mm -hmm. like it may not be shown but it might be what's making all of those like lines maybe maybe i don't know it that one came out really weird so and then i switched to mud and that one came out, the first one is incredibly distorted and disturbing. <laughs> like, torsos and legs. It's awful. Okay. Yeah, that one's really scary. Yeah, you can, like, make out a leg and a stomach, but then no arms, and the head is way too big. Yeah, and then I think no the neck. second torso or set of limbs, and that one, the AI just messed it all up, and I didn't like that one, and I don't want to dwell on it. Yeah, no, yeah. that was pretty scary. No, but the last one is so very classic Swamp Thing. It is. It is. It is absolutely Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. So that one, no very clearly, you can see where that one came from. Yeah, that one is very classic Swamp Thing. I agree. <laughs> It's the last of mine. But that one, I was like, okay. okay. This made me think of this when we were playing around with it. Uh, see, Brad and I were playing with it. Um, it was... Well, I was like, oh, that is such a clear American influence, and that's why I wanted to go back through some of the other. I'm pretty sure we had a couple more. Did we have more? Mm-hmm. Let me go back and look. Yeah, like... Well, we did other things, but they weren't cryptids. Um, see, well, we did yeah. small cryptids. See, the, so there were a bunch. There was, like, oh, yeah, the bug one. Yeah, we and then the bug ones. one. Yeah, oh, we there's a bug one? Here, I'll send you the... So when we just typed in small cryptid and it gave us her. And I don't know why, but she was really something. Yeah, bug cryptid. That was fun. Oh, wait. And then oh. here's a bug cryptid. And that was supposed to be small cryptid, but said it's a... Some teeny type lady. Yeah. Okay. And then that's a little... Oh, bit bug there. cryptid. Oh, he's cool. He came out pretty cute. And it's on some kind of dragon or something. It's riding something. 
Also, we can't forget some of the others, like the dinosaur cryptid and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's true. Alright, I'll yeah, put we that had. We, we uh -huh. just put in Chupacabra, and this is its interpretation of the Chupacabra. Oh. Well, this will be interesting. Oh. Well, that is not where I would have gone with it, though I guess no. it's Mayan influence. Right, there's definitely some Mesoamerican influence in there, but then why there's this battle? going on in the front and what's the chupacabra I don't know. It almost looks like a ritual or something. It does. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 I just put in I forgot. I put in Ozark. <laughs> Cryptid. At one point. You can see what it was pulling out of that mishmash. I guess kind of a boggy creep one. Oh, that's pretty. We've got oh, oh. I'm not sure. Tree creature? It? I don't know. I'm not sure either. I don't know if that's hair or muscle striations or <laughs> those are fingers or if it's a moth. I don't know. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I said you want more from my prompt. So that's. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll send you the reptile cryptid, and we'll look at yours. Oh no, no, let's see your reptile. No, no, no. What's it doing? Hold on, I'm goofing up. Um. There's the reptile, and I'm going to open yours. Oh my, we definitely have a dinosaur. Yep, but there's so oh, real something going on with those fingers and that back leg. Or is there an extra right? is the back leg? Is that back leg up? Like it's going to stomp on something, or is it just short? Don't know. Don't know. But the, the yeah. back leg doesn't seem to join the body in any logical way either. It's pretty messed up. Right, like the tail is like almost extra to the body or something. Uh -huh. The tail is coming out of the middle of the back. Well, maybe that's the like tail. It's maybe it's more like a shellfish, like a crab carapace or something. Right. Yeah, but those fingers are just horrible. What was it thinking? <laughs> I don't know. It did some weird things. Ooh, so what's this one? It was the exact same prompt. I just did it on horror. Oh, so it's got the twiggy thing going on. But I do not see the creature in the water. I don't either. But it did get the... It got pine forest, it got lake, and it got night. This time it lost my creature. Yep. It got the twiggy, and that was it. But maybe it's not a creature. It's kind of like a kraken coming out of the water. Mm-hmm. I just noticed a lot of your, like, um, swamp and pine forest they really all look like they're in the same location so what if there's like a bunch of cryptids and one all like the swampy lake area? oh there's a twiggy swamp out there mm -hmm. well i mean I did. the lake out here was built by flooding a forest valley that's true it was that's true. All the trees and forests we see at the edge of the lake are actually under the lake, too. Were. Or were. They, yeah, disintegrated by now. This is back in, what, 50s? Was it 20? Oh, it's really not possibly. Yeah. Well, a lot of buildings that got flooded were built by the works project. Um, telling yep. Port Neffy and Barling and stuff were done. Right, right. Petty Jean and all that. So... I, I would say it has to be a little bit. Let's see here. Okay, no. Okay. It was the 60s. It was 60s. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The so house was, was $6 like, million. Dollars. That house was built in the 50s and got moved up out of the flood zone when they flooded all the time. So. Right. It must have been something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that does that give me a vibe whole situation. It does, it does. I mean, I was trying to get it to do something that would be kind of local, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I didn't want to put in Arkansas or anything like that. Anything specific. Name of a river or name of a lake. Or... Right. And I don't know how much it would pull from actual resources about that area. I don't think it does research, so to speak. Yeah, well, I don't know, though, if it would, like, find or be able to hit on something that was maybe, you know, a little more... I don't know if there'd be something more specific or not. I have no idea how that would work, to be honest. No, I don't... I don't know what what it's hitting on to pull this all together. Right, I mean, it's obviously using something. Right. But I have no idea what. Right, or how many things it looks at, or what kind of, where, what it's pooling its information from, and I was hoping that as we looked at these it would become clearer, because I assume since it's coming from the internet it would be heavily um, North American, Western European. I just, some of these, it's just, I don't understand what it's doing. Alright, let's face it, fine swords, pine forest, and swabs, lake, mud, or universal. Right. Then in a time it looks just like in Ireland. Right, that's true. It's true. County Wicklow looks extremely familiar. Wait. We want to go to a rolling mountains with dust. Exactly. Exactly. Also, I noticed two more things. Oh, okay. The pictures. Sure. Um, on, like, the very left, one of the trees kind of looks like a hand, and that Dust. could be, like, a really dark hand, maybe. Oh, maybe it's reaching up out of the water back there. And that may be... Are you talking on that last one? one? Yeah, that last one. Yeah, okay. possibly. Okay. And I see okay. how it also picks different stuff out of the exact same prompt based on the filter. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, the second thing is, maybe it came from, like, in the very middle, the trees, like, made a circular shape. Uh Uh-huh. Maybe that's where, maybe that used to be, like, some kind of portal. Ooh, a portal. A circle, a fairy circle out in the swamp, some sort of mushrooms, it's a Mm -hmm. dead tree. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. So maybe, like, a necromancer or something from, like, the underworld, and then it was somewhere out in, like, the background, and then that, like, skeletal looking hand is just something that it's ringing back? Maybe. Uh, maybe. 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 Or maybe that's just the thing itself? Don't know. No. Maybe that should be the next thing we do, is you make it stories based on these pictures. Okay. We tell these stories. Yeah, like we are just... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that can be the next thing we do. Really, like I said, I was hoping that once we kind of looked at a collection of them, we'd understand what the AI was doing and kind of have this idea of a subconscious that was making it out onto the internet for these things. But so far, I'm not seeing that. And I don't know if it's a flaw in the AI or if maybe it's just not a cohesive fear. Like I think it's. I don't know. We can't tell. It doesn't have enough consistency. Maybe you have to do a whole bunch more things to see a pattern. Right, maybe the AI has to be around longer to collect more stuff. Maybe. Maybe it just needs more. Maybe it just needs more info. Right. So, I don't know. So, I thought that was for the experiment. It was was interesting. It was. It was very interesting to see what it was coming up with, and it definitely comes up with some very interesting stuff. Yep. So I think that uh, maybe one of our next recordings will have to be coming up with stories based on those. What do they make us think of? Like, maybe each of us comes up, looks at the same picture, but we don't tell each other our stories. We just jot it down, and then we can talk about what we can. Oh, there you go. That could be fun. There you go. All right. Well, I think we should wrap up here, probably. Uh, but we do have another recording that I'd like to We'll start that cool. right after this. All right. So for right now, how about we just say bye? Bye. Bye.
love you. Goodbye. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll catch you in just a few. Okay.